you all know that we have gathered here for the big call that is a get together for the silver jubilee year of passing out so before starting let me introduce myself i am rashmi raja and i would be your mc for the evening so before i start i would like to say that from the bottom of my heart i would like to thank each and every one who are present here for spending their time and coming from the various parts of the country so the and from india to be a part of this memorable function Yeah. 
see at the uh, in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Which year? In the canteen it's canteen to under the outside. Okay, this is Outside. Oh. Sort of a program on TV in common room.
in uh, PE days, right? I was wondering whether this guys are setting me up for uh, for failure. So for my own sake, uh, I won't make a fool of myself. So what I'll do is, I'll, I'll say a few uh, interesting facts and anecdotes from my life and analysis. Uh, it seems just yesterday that uh, I boarded the train from Guwahati to, uh, to Calicut. Uh, I came from the northeast. Uh, and when I, when my father, when I, when I told, told my father that uh, I got admission in RIC Calicut, and he was, he was very proudly telling to all his uh, friends and family. So the constant refrain was, for your college day, will I get to because those days, uh, this college was famous for the, for the Rajan case. But, uh, so I was coming with a lot of trepidation, a lot of fear. But when I came to REC, right, uh, uh, those four years were bliss, absolute bliss. Fortunately, my wife is not here. And so, otherwise, she would sort of uh, kill me for saying that. But those were the best four years of my life. Uh, and then the first six months was honeymoon, actually. And the reason I say that was, uh, but we were from the northeast, myself, Partha, Pankaj, all of these guys, you know, we never had ragging in the events too. So we would walk like kings into the hostel. And all my other batchmates, including some of them here, would actually sneak in, literally sneak in and somehow avoid the, avoid the seniors. Uh, CP is here with me. CP was my roommate. Uh, CP was my roommate. So uh, it's every night, despite uh, Professor Sachinran's uh, curfew and all that stuff, uh, these guys would disappear for a couple of hours every day. So one night, uh, around 2 a.m., uh, Bharat and Bharat Rastoki unfortunately was not with us today. And CP walked into the, uh, into the room with their backsides completely in blue ink. So no explanations were asked, no explanations were given. I was more worried that those guys would sit on my bed and spoil the bed. But uh, those were the initial days in, 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 uh, in uh, RSC. Uh, subsequently, uh, we had problems, right? The food had its own issues. Uh, you would lie on the bed and look at the fan, you could actually count the rotation of the fan. Uh, uh, we went and bought a 110 volts bulb, which probably nobody else in this country would, would actually buy. Uh, but interestingly, uh, as we went along, uh, we organized a cultural, uh, sorry, a film festival. Do, does anybody remember the films that we chose for that festival? Any, any guesses? What? Uh, so, uh, we chose uh, Ulsa, yeah. we chose uh, Blue Lagoon, uh, and uh, the third one was Blame It on Rio. Uh, so, uh, some of us had to go and justify why we chose this film. And Professor Sheshinan was, I think, was one of the mentors for the club. So, we had to justify why this film was chosen. And uh, give me the, let me give you the logic. Would serve uh, because uh, the, the poor folks in Harisi Calicut had to know the rich heritage and culture of India, which was also. Uh, second, uh, blame it on Rio because he expected our students to travel abroad and, and so on. So we had to know the culture of Brazil in those days. So that was why blame it on Rio was chosen. And then the last one was probably the hilarious one. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, Blue Lagoon, right? Uh, the, uh, the explanation given to Sir was. Uh, uh, we are preparing our students for a shipwreck in the future, so we want to teach them how to survive a shipwreck. Uh, he, uh, he was a kind man. Uh, he, he saw through the, the, to the game, but he said, okay, go ahead and do it. So I was telling him, just, uh, and I was sitting with him, I said, that's the approach I use with my kids today. When it says that you can't be uh, uh, telling them what to do, you've got to be friends with them. Uh, one final uh, thing about uh, RDC was, um, Fifth semester, fifth or sixth semester, there was this uh, heat and mass transfer course. Uh, Pro professor Ramakrishnan was the was a professor. Was probably the toughest course in those four years. Uh, people like Reji or I don't know Manoj P. Abraham. Even those guys struggled. Huh? So people like us who were sort of middle branches, we, we really sort of struggled in that course. MS2, 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 absolutely. So uh, then uh, during so the whole semester, I didn't understand. Anything. Then all of us depend on the preparatory leave, like preparation leave is when we sort of actually sit and read. For the friends, those who remember me, I don't have to introduce, and those who have the memory has faded, or those who want to get refreshed, Radha Mangupta from Academica. Uh, as I come here, there are many things passing through my mind. Like it was four years full of memories, but what I'll do is, because I'm given I think, two minutes, right? Three minutes, okay, thank you so much. So there are three minutes only. So what I'll do is, 
I'll narrate some of the experience of, uh, let's say, first year, right, and the eighth semester, so that it covers the entire four years, maybe, that way. Uh, first year, if you see, I think the first thing which comes into your mind is what? Dragging, right? So I'm warned by my friend with whom I used to get dragged over that time. And sorry, Professor, it was heavy introduction, right? Not dragging. Let me change the name. Okay. So uh, I'll go with him, and I was a very shy guy, right? So I'll go, and seniors will ask, you know, uh, and I think all of you will agree. They'll say, go and ask that girl's name from where the state the senior females, right? That was the famous thing to do in ragging. So I'll go, I'll ask the name, etc. But this guy will go, and he will go happy, and he'll talk for. They say just ask me which semester, which branch. He'll go and he'll talk for minutes together, right? And you never know what he's talking. Then seniors will say, oh, jaldi ya wapas, oh. <laughs> right, oh, jaldi ya wapas. So kind of thing, and I used to uh, wonder what he's doing there. So he'll go and one day I asked, and I'm sorry, I'm not I'm going to take his name, because he has told me not to do it. So I asked him, I'm so scared when I go to emails and I ask their name, etc. They might slap me or they might get worried, and uh, I mean, they might get angry. Then he says, no, I go and I say, don't take this secret to anyone. I go and say, hello sister, how are you? <laughs> right? Which is great you belong to, etc. etc. Et I keep talking, but I start with hello sister. Right? Kind of, this is my secret. <laughs>
Ready, Father? Yeah. Sunrise.